So if you want to adjust your lead in, lead outs on your part, you can see down here you got diamonds um, on each cut path. If I want to change the position, all I need to do is just click and drag on that diamond. I can move it anywhere on that tool path. Um, you'll see once you select that diamond, a little blue a line on that, that arc lead in pops up and you can click and drag on this blue dot at the end of it to change the size of it. Um, if I want to change uh, if I want to put a lead out on there, if I want to do a line lead, if I want to do a tab or an overburn, um, it all pops up on the right hand side of your screen in your parameters after you click on the diamond of the lead in lead out you want to work on. Um, it's going to default to an arc lead out or arc lead in on um, circles and if you're on the middle of a line. If you're on a corner, you can see it defaults to a line lead in lead out. If you want to work on all of these at the same time, so anything that's uh, inside of this square, um, you could come up here to your selection tool on your ribbon. You click selection, uh, click all cutout breaks. And you can see everything that's inside of a cutout is selected. And once I change it over on the right hand side of my parameters, it's going to change all of them to be the same as each other. If I have multiple pieces on here, and I click the selection tool and did all, uh, cut, uh, all perimeter breaks. You can see it selects this corner line lead in lead out. So if I have multiple parts, that, uh, that parameter breaks button will select every outside lead in lead out on all the parts on my, my screen. Uh, once I change anything over on the right hand side of the screen, it'll change all of them to be the same. Uh, once you make a change, you'll click the green check mark or enter to accept it and it'll apply the change to your lead and lead outs.